this makeup situation is going to have to be a trust the process kind of situation because I haven't done my makeup in two months and I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. So trust the process. <laughs> foundation fits me anymore because obviously like um my skin got a little darker i think so anyway um throughout this process so i don't know let's hope it fits me still because i'm not bad no more i'm not wasting any money right now so it better fit me Anyway, there was a day where there was a day where I had my driving lesson and I was going home. So I decided that I was gonna buy a pregnancy test. And by this I was a good few days late and I decided I'm gonna buy a pregnancy test. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take it on the train and it's probably nothing it's probably just all in my head kind of thing um bear in mind i had just had a miscarriage two months before that so on mother's day last year i was actually admitted into hospital i was on a flight so i was at work i was on a flight to cyprus and back and i was having a miscarriage and I was doing my whole service and my whole flight bleeding heavily sorry TMI guys um I was just thinking to myself eh it's probably not that deep um let me just take a quick one got on the train went got in the toilet that's on the train took it looked at it and I was like when did that shit happen <laughs> uh and I didn't just I didn't say anything to anyone. I just kept it to myself. I kept it a secret. Um, kept it a secret for about a week, and then I found like a little cutesy way to present it to my partner, and he was obviously over the moon, and it was just a kept a secret between us for a good couple of months, and I didn't really want to say anything to anybody. I wasn't showing. Um, I even went to a carnival and I was about five months pregnant by then and I still was not showing if I can insert a photo or a video I'd insert a photo or a video at five months I still wasn't showing I didn't start showing till I was about six months um, but it was about five months I finally told my family so we were having a birthday party here and my family came and I was in. The, I went. I took my sister in the toilet, and I told her, and she was like silently jumping and screaming, yeah. <laughs> like all of that. And I was like, "Shh, nobody knows. Shut up." Um, the only person I knew at the time was my partner's mum, and we had to tell her way ahead of time because she came over from Ghana, um, and all she wanted to do was drink wine drink champagne and she's like asha we're going to blow cash and we'll go shopping and then she'll pick up a bottle of wine and she's like oh asha this looks like it tastes really good this do and then i'm like yeah that looks like it tastes good and i'm thinking shit how am i gonna get out of drinking this and we brought it back home and she made dinner for us and she poured me a glass and i was like mm, great i wasn't drinking it i took it to the 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 um the kitchen i poured it down the sink and she come and topped my glass up again i was like shit this woman <laughs> um and then i told my partner when he got home and then like yeah we have to tell her because she keeps buying bottles of alcohol and thinking i'm drinking it um and we gave her the letter with my appointment for my scan um and she read it and she's like hmm I'm very happy. I'm very happy. You have to have a girl. <laughs> She's like, I have to have a girl. There's a reason for that, but anyway. Um, so that's how she found out. 
and that's how my sister found out because I told so I told my partner's mum at three months yeah and I told my sister at five months um I told my best friend pretty much as soon as I found out we went on holiday oh bless her cops we went on holiday to, holiday together you would have seen my montenegro vlog i was pregnant then we went on holiday together and i couldn't eat anything but corn that's the only thing i could eat on holiday corn um and she took good care of me on holiday like my bestie got up and made me breakfast every morning brought me breakfast in bed consistently checked on me made sure i was okay she was really treating me like she was my boyfriend you'd think she's my baby father <laughs> But anyway, let me tell you how I told my mamas and the rest of my family. So, me and my sister were talking and she was like, she thinks mom knows. And I'm like, hmm, mommy's been acting dodgy. I think she knows as well. Um, and just one day, I called my mom and I was like, mom, when did you know? She's like, what are you talking about? I said, Mum, you know I'm not an idiot. I know I'm not an idiot. You know that I know that I'm not an idiot. We both know I'm not an idiot. <laughs> Mum, how long have you known now? She goes, Since last month. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, And you didn't say nothing. Um, and she's like, Oh, because, you know, I was waiting for you to be ready to say something. And I was like, hmm, okay. No wonder you've been dropping certain hints. Because my mum's been dropping certain hints um, for for a little while. And I was just like avoiding them or ignoring it kind of thing. Um, and even my stepdad was like dropping hints as well. Because he's like, oh. You took the banana then because banana good for you. Banana have iron in it. Da -da 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 -da, stuff like that. And I'm thinking, hmm. But anyway, I told my mum not to say anything to anybody because nobody knows and I'm not ready yet um, for anybody to know. Um, but my mum and her big mouth, she acts like she... My mum thinks I'm an idiot. I already know if she told certain individuals um, because she called... My cousin, one of my cousins called me and she's like, Oh, Asha, how are you doing? After I haven't heard from her in a very, very long time. Oh, Asha, how are you doing? You know, how's life been? How's I'm thinking, mm-hmm. My mama told you. You know. Um, But I played along with it. Yeah, I'm good. Everything's great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All of that, and I didn't say anything. All I knew, she, like, my cousin was kind of fishing for information in that sense. Um, And I called my mum after I got off the phone to my cousin. I was like, mum, did you tell so-and-so? This is what my mother said. Oh, sorry, my mom slipped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I messed up my makeup. <laughs> but anyway, still, I did not say anything to anybody. Um, even though my one of my cousins now knew. And my mum let her mouth slip, as she call it. Um, I did not tell the rest of my family until I think a month before my baby shower and I sent out my invitations to everyone um to certain individuals I had it I kept it really small I didn't want anything big and extravagant just small and intimate really um so it was literally just family and close friends that was um at my gender reveal slash baby shower um I even had like individuals go I didn't know you were pregnant Ugh. of course I didn't tell nobody I didn't want anyone to know um, and that's because I was really just trying to be protective of my blessing. Um, I just wanted things to, you know, come to fruition before I said anything. Um, and that's exactly what I did with letting you guys know as well. Um, I waited until I gave birth. <laughs> I'm sorry. I waited until I gave birth before I let social media know that I was even pregnant um yeah so literally the day after I gave birth and my child was like a day day old 
boom posted my photo um and that's how everybody else knew that i was pregnant and i think that's it um i will be filming my labor and delivery story if i'm missing anything in this story i'll probably mention it then because i'm not really good at storytelling i will go to the beginning then the end and then the middle and then back to the beginning again so sorry if this is jumbled up but i will see you guys next time and i'll show you guys my my finishing look in a second this is the final look guys Oof. <sighs> sorry this video was so quick um it's because we're kind of in a rush to go out but thanks again for watching guys